What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Have you seen that foam? I finally made it. The perfect vegan Ramos Gin Fizz. If you guys are ready, let's do it. All right guys, so the vegan Ramos, it took me a little long to make this video because I wanted to find the perfect way to make it. And now after several trials and error, I can finally say that I think that I've succeeded. You will see this recipe is a little bit labor intensive, but if you are vegan, you'll no longer be left out. You'll be able to enjoy a delicious vegan Ramos Gin Fizz. If you're not vegan, but still like the regular Ramos, I think you should give this one a try because you will see the flavor spectrum is slightly different. When I first had the idea of making the vegan Ramos, I used the same technique and I simply used aquafaba instead of egg white and coconut cream instead of heavy cream. But the result was not satisfying. The beautiful head, the beautiful foam that we love about Ramos Gin Fizz was really airy and bubbly and it didn't look good. And there's a few reasons for that. First, my coconut cream was probably not fat enough. So I had to look for a heavier, a richer coconut cream. Second, even if aquafaba is a great emulsifier and replacement for egg white, it doesn't keep its stiffness like egg white would. So I had the idea of beating the aquafaba like we would do for a meringue with egg white and I add just a little bit of cream de tartare, cream of tartare, to keep its stiffness because that's what cream of tartare is for. And that's when I say that this recipe gets a little bit labor intensive, but believe me, it is worth a try. To make the aquafaba emulsification, you will start by weighting 1.5 grams of cream of tartare and you will place it into the bowl of your stand mixer. Then you will add half a cup of aquafaba. Your ingredients need to be very cold for this recipe. So I recommend that you place your aquafaba and your coconut cream in the fridge a few hours before making the cocktail. And then you will beat it at maximum speed until it forms beautiful and stiff spikes. For this result, it took me about five minutes. Then we'll weigh 40 grams of the whipped aquafaba. We'll place it in the fridge to keep it cold until we're ready to make the cocktail. So now we're ready to make the cocktail and as I already told you, not only I changed my technique for the aquafaba, we're also going to blend the cocktail instead of shaking it. It's going to make for a better result and as we already put so much effort in the aquafaba foam, I think we deserve to save a little bit our muscles. So we're going to start right away by pouring two ounces of gin into the blender. To that we will add one ounce of simple syrup. Half an ounce of lemon juice and half an ounce of lime juice. 35 grams of cold coconut cream. Our 40 grams of aquafaba foam. Two dashes of orange blossom water and one quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So now we're gonna add 90 grams of ice. Because we're gonna blend this cocktail, all the ice will melt. So we don't wanna have too little or too much dilution and 90 grams is the sweet spot. And then we're gonna blend it for two minutes. And now in a chilled Collins glass, we're gonna add one ounce of cold soda water. And we're gonna pour the cocktail until it reaches the edge of the glass. So now we have to let it sit for a few minutes in order for the foam to separate from the cocktail. So to do that, we're gonna place that in the freezer for about five minutes. After a few minutes in the freezer, the foam will be separated from the cocktail and will be harder a little bit. So with a straw, you will poke a hole into the middle of it. And you will pour a little more of soda in the middle to make the foam rise and make the Ramos Gin Fizz. And now we're gonna place back the straw in the middle and it should stay straight just like that. So that means that we've succeeded. We've made the perfect vegan Ramos. So now let's give it a try. Mm. That's gonna be a bold statement, but I think I like this even more than the regular Ramos. 
doesn't have that dairy taste that I find annoying sometimes. And I personally think that coconut and gin goes really well together. It tastes like a coconut creamsicle with a lot of booze. I love it. I hope you're gonna love it too. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you wanna be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers.